New at 6, we've all gotten angry in traffic, but this is a whole other kind of fury tonight. Now safety is taking priority. This happened near Flamengo and Pecos. 13 Action News reporter Tom George is there live right now with some expert advice on what you should do to stay safe. Tom. Yeah, and Steve and Trisha, these attacks can happen quickly, pretty much as soon as the light turns red like it is right now. In this case, a woman grabbed a bat and started whacking at the other car, all before the light even turned green. It only took a few swings for this slugger to smash the windshield of a woman's car in a case of road rage. You can see the woman getting out of this BMW and going to town on the white car in front of her as people behind them watch and record in horror. That was the first time something we've seen something crazy like that. Two different witnesses who stopped at the light right behind them say they were scared the woman and the driver of the other car would come after them too. When he seen me recording, he yelled at me and he said, can I help you? And I said, no, we're just, just recording. So we were kind of worried that she would come after us. In this situation, crime and safety expert Randy Sutton said the other driver would have a right to fight back. She actually had, uh, you know, grounds to be in fear for her life. He says a lot of times it doesn't take much to set people off. Things as innocuous as getting cut off in traffic. In fact, about a year and a half ago, another road rage brawl, this time with a crowbar. And at UNLV, someone shot at a woman's truck even as she tried to escape by parking at the campus police station. Not all road rage situations are as dangerous, though, made clear here when a woman got out of her car and flashed someone after a driver says she cut him off. But regardless of the situation, Sutton says at the end of the day, even if someone cuts you off, it's not worth it. Let it go. Yeah, and back live. In fact, the light only now just turned green. So one other piece of advice that Sutton has, if you are trapped at a red light, try and escape if you can, even if it means running the light and getting pulled over by police. They say if you are being followed, you can always explain that to the officer. Now, as for the attacker in this case, that person is still on the loose. So if you know anything, call police. Reporting live, Tom George, 13 Action News.